is New Year's with Live PD. Live PD wasn't built in a day. We are now the number one live show on cable because of you, the Live PD Nation, which really is all of us. From the crew in the control room to the on-site producers and videographers, obviously the officers and the fans. We're all riding along together. It's been a big year with big moments and we've covered a lot of ground. What were some of your guys' favorite moments? For me, it's being able to do wanted segments to profile fugitives and help them be arrested with the help of the Live PD Nation. Tonight, we need your help to find a gunman who Chicago police say is responsible for two random murders. The police were able to locate and apprehend the guy, all thanks to you, Live PD viewers, to profile missing children working with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Tonight, we really need your help to find a pair of Ohio siblings whose lives may be in grave danger. It's wonderful to me to be able to use the medium of television to try to make a difference in a tangible way. And it's been amazing how much of a difference it has made. We've recovered some children. We've helped catch some fugitives, fugitives. including one uh, wanted for murder. Being a part of a show where we're so engage with the public like that is amazing. It's amazing. You know, some of the highest octane moments come when we get to see police officers chasing someone down. Right. And what's been really interesting is getting to see it from the police officer's perspective. You know, we talk about the action of a pursuit and it's exciting to watch. It's exciting to be in one, but what's going through that officer's mind at the time he's chasing somebody, the decisions he has to make, why he's chasing it, how long he's gonna chase it, road conditions, who's in the car, you know, answering to a supervisor. Going through red lights, coming to a red light, signs, exactly. Right? I mean, it, and so part of the show, we've seen it time and time again on here where, you know, there's times they chase it until literally the wheels come off a car. Which way? Get ahead of me, Mark Unit, get ahead of me. We're in the pursuit, we're in the hunt. Looks like he hit the spike strip and he's still going. Yeah, just riding your rim, so. He just spun out. We often talk behind the scenes about how this is really the only opportunity so far that the public has gotten to see the more mundane aspects of being a police officer. Right. We're looking for a leprechaun today. Leprechaun, what is that? Good St. Patty's Day. Oh, oh, oh. I see, Dwight, you got the new teddy bear. Come on over here so we're out of the way of the store. Not the necessarily the officer involved shooting, not necessarily the aftermath, but everything that's happening as you as an officer are seeing it and thinking about it. You're doing a ride along essentially with 16 different officers in one night. And so you get to see the boring type of things we have to go to, the ridiculous things that we get called out on. Not a cowboy, no formal training, it's just on-the-job experience. But then you also see those crazy, exciting moments as well. Live PD, Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m. on A&E.